Hello there. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about concept of transport settings and transport dumpster. So what exactly the transport settings and transport dumpster? So we all know that uh, at any way when our exchange server, our exchange mailbox will send the mail go to transport server anyway and uh, in the hub transport for for one lifetime it definitely send a mail and go to the hub transport server so from that we can create some settings called transport settings to prevent maximum receive size maximum send size maximum number of recipients maximum size per box per mailbox database maximum retention time specify the external postmaster address and transport server will allow messages to route in our, our exchange organizations so basically when you go through the transport setting let discuss more about these features and we all know that in the uh, mailbox we can uh, set some criteria that uh, you are not you will not allow to send the mail uh, more than 5 MB for example 10 MB uh, in, in, a, in a single mail you are also not allowed to receive a mail like this you may be allowed to send but not allowed to receive a mail like this also you're not allowed to uh, for example add five or more than five recipients at a time or a maximum size per mailbox database these policies are basically at just to uh, bring uh, bring out more of your resources because if you keep things unlimited for every mailbox user might be there will be the problem that your resources will get exhausted quite quickly so to transport settings you can allow the settings you can configure like that also maximum retention times for any case of deletion you can uh, restore the message so you can add the retention time anyway also specify the external postmaster address so now the transport server will allow messages to route in your exchange organization that's we all know that uh, anyway the hub transport will be the will be the uh, centralized location where you can allow to send a mail or allow to route the mail that if for example the mail needs to uh, needs to route externally externally then how or if internally then internally how so this is what the transport settings are in this case another feature will be called transport dumpster and it is basically enabled and lighted in exchange server 2010 what exactly it's it's a feature built into exchange server 2010 hub transport row and designed to minimize data loss during mail delivery to a dag and lazy failures failures uh, scenario this feature was first introduced in Exchange 2007 for CCR and NCR mailboxes. Before it was just for the CCR and LCR mailboxes. Now, Transport Dumpster is added and the feature is now built with the Exchange Server 2010 Hub Transport. And in that case, it, it allow you, for example, you're replicating your data, uh, your add it you're just transferring for example the data in some way if the if the uh, if some error happen if if the whatever you have just uh, proposed it, it not it not completed not done then in that case it protect from a lazy failure scenario it creates a copy of your mail and it allow you to 
store from the lucy failure so that is one of the reason uh, transport drum store created just to uh, create a copy of uh, and during the 16 copy till the 16 copy you can create it of the mail it also for example the transport dumpster is used for replicated mailbox database only so it's only for the database of your mailbox it doesn't protect messages sent to public folder nor does it protect messages sent to replicates on mailbox database that aren't replicated the transport dumpster queue for a specific mailbox database is located in all hub transport servers in active directory site contains containing the DAG, the transport dumpster is stored inside the mail at Q file. So you can't say transport dumpster is a kind of a backup thing. That is a backup, and whenever a failover happen, a fail uh, of your mailbox give uh, face the downtime or something like that, then this particular dumpster will will become the uh, secondary server kind of thing and will take over all the instances not like that it's only used for replicating mailbox databases only and due to something happened for example if we try to send a mail and mail some way not received by the recipient which it's supposed to in that case it will just allow to save the database for the temporary basis for the 16 uh, up to 16 um, mailboxes up, up to up to 16 copies of it so it's it's a kind of a temporary arrangement it's not that you will be get stored or it's not that it will take over the backup kind of thing for the transport dumpster now you can do some settings on exchange transport dumpster the max dumpster size per database you can set defines the size available for each storage group on the hub transport server the recommendation is that set to 1.5 times the maximum message size limit within your environment the default value of these settings is 18 mb so you can set for example if, if the database have some limitation to save your resources then you can always let uh, your particular uh, size to be get limited on it now max dumpster time now what is the max dumpster time defines the length time the message remains with the transport dumpster if dumpster size limit is not reached the default is seven days so for example if your size is if you set 18 MB then till seven days it will be remains tall but if for example the size is more than that then it will not and it will be automatically get removed as per the policy but you can also set the database timeline to tell how long you want this particular uh, timeline to be if for example you want to extend it or you want to reduce that's totally up to you so this is what the dumpster settings is all about where you can go through in exchange server and configure these settings let's move down to our exchange server 2010 and find it out where these options are available Okay, now we have reached to Exchange Server 2010 and currently we are in Microsoft Exchange on-premises. This is Exchange Management Console and in that you can able to see this is the by default page. Now where we used to go, it's for the organization configuration and in the organization configuration you will get the option called hub transport and if in hub transport you will get to uh, get the option called global settings in the tab you already have transport settings by default created when you go with the properties you will check it out the transport settings properties 
and here you can set a limitation a maximum size is 10,240 that is the maximum size receive size and the send size similarly maximum number of recipient you can add is 5,000 you can decrease the size you can increase the size that is totally up to you then it transport dumpster maximum size per mailbox database it is 18 already created although we can do that till 16 but the maximum is there 18 as well the per database and retention date is till seven days you can increase or decrease the size and uh, Tell these copies the dumpster and the limitation you can extend or you can uh, decrease the, uh, the size particularly as well this is the maximum size 16 copy can be created the message delivery is that you can check it out and in the message delivery you can add it out the IP address for the sub servers deployed and the delivery status notification dsn codes here so this is how you uh, add transport settings properties here and the maximum size of dumpster retention dates by default created 16 copies also the transport settings of a message uh, you able to send or a message you able to deliver this is how we know about transport.